Johnny tonight 0 for 3. And he'll hammer one out to left center field for Riznik. Going back, he pulls up. Gone! Big fly for Mike Trout, a three-run blast. Halo's on top, 4-1. To What's up, guys? Welcome back to another episode of Angel in the Outfield. This is the series where we build a team around Mike Trout and Mike Trout's performance, as well as the teams will dictate who gets upgraded and how we can build the team. So... Uh, we finished in the last video with another very high upgrade count. We finished with five upgrades again. That is 10 in the last two videos. So this team is getting upgraded quick, boys. It's going by fast. And once again, you guys left a ton of comments. You guys suggested a ton of different players that could be upgraded on the team. And real talk for a second. Thank you guys for continuing to leave a bunch of suggestions at the end of every video. You guys have just been killing the comment section throughout the entire course of this series. It relies directly on you guys and your suggestions. So thank you guys really for continuing to do that throughout the course of the series. Continue to do that through the end of it too. We're, we're getting closer to the end, so continue hitting those comments hard with your suggestions. But anyway, let's see what players we upgraded on the squad. We're going to get it started with the rotation. Don Sutton, the 90 overall. We did have the 84 overall Don Sutton, the gold card. And now you guys wanted to upgrade to the 90 overall Don Sutton. And this card is realistically one. One of my favorite pitchers to use in this entire game. He's so good. Four seam fastball, knuckle curve, screwball, slider, sinker, 115 stamina, 96 hits per nine, 79 Ks per nine, 75 walks per nine, 55 velo, 93 break. The biggest thing about this card is the fact that the slider is really good and then you can mix in the screwball kind of for your out pitch and also the sinker is gonna be very effective as well. Um, one big thing, one stat that I think gets overlooked a lot is stamina. The 115 stamina on this card is a big plus for me because I like my starting pitchers going deep into games. I don't like going to my bullpen early. I've just, I get kind of weird about matchups and stuff like that. So having a starting pitcher with a lot of stamina is a very, very big plus for me. And the other guy we got to finish the starting rotation is Nolan Ryan, the 89 overall version of the card. This card has a four seam fastball, 12 six curve circle change and a sinker 105 stamina 92 hits per nine 106 k's per nine 50 walks per nine that's a little low 61 control 76 velo and 86 break overall this card's good it's not nearly as good as his immortal card of course i mean it's 10 points lower but it can still be effective especially if you can keep the batter off balance if you don't really know what is coming it's gonna be really hard to hit nolan ryan so i like this suggestion and now our starting pitching is a full diamond rotation then we're going to move it on to the bullpen. We got another arm added to the squad, and this is going to be a nice left-handed pitcher. This is going to be the Josh Hader card. Four-seam fastball, change-up slider, two-seam, 105, 108 hits in case for nine, 52 walks for nine, 77 velo, 64 break. Pretty much everybody in the world has faced Josh Hader in MLB The Show 18. Everybody knows what to expect from this card, but that doesn't mean that you can't be good with it. If you can mix that fastball away to righties, and then get that slider coming in with the change up low. You can be very, very effective, especially with those high hits in case for nine. So Josh Hader, a nice lefty to add in there. We also got another lefty too. Araldis Chapman, the flamethrower from the New York Yankees, has joined the squad, guys. 87 overall diamond, playing up to an 89 today, which is interesting because the Yankees just got eliminated last night. Don't really know how he's still up on inside edge. But either way, fastball slider change up. Similar to Josh Hader, you guys know what to expect with Araldis. Aldis Chapman. If you're sitting heat, you might get a slider. It might fool you, but if you can actually time the fastball, you could have success against this card. So it's really about locating with this card and keeping the batter guessing if you're going to throw a fastball or a changeup. So I like the Araldis Chapman pick, but that is not the only Chapman that we got upgraded. For third base, we now have the player of the month, Matt Chapman, on the squad. 88 overall diamond over at third base. This is a card that you guys wanted to see earlier, but I didn't have it at the time and then you guys have kept suggesting him throughout the series and you want to see him now so I finally have him and now Matt Chapman will join the squad he will be playing third base so Harmon Kilgrew unfortunately no longer on the squad um, but this Matt Chapman card's a beast man 
88, 85 contact, 92, 51 power with 54 vision, 94 fielding, 89 arm strength. He's going to be a beast at third base, and he's also got 74 speed. Overall, this is a very, very strong third baseman card. So with that, guys, if we take a look at how many spots we have left to upgrade, the starting pitching is completely filled out. The lineup, the only guy that we have uh, as a gold still is Gary Sanchez um, on the bench, whatever. Don't worry about that. And then in the bullpen, we have Blake Trinan, Pat Neshek, and Roberto Osuna. So we have four guys to upgrade until we can start getting to the 91 and above phase. Pretty much just the immortal phase. So hopefully in this video, we can get four upgrades so we can go ahead in the next video, start upgrading to some higher overall. So here we go, guys. This is the squad. I think we should get after it. Here we go, fellas. We're taking on the Portland Timbers. Let's see who my man has on his squad. We're facing Garrett Cole. We got Clayton Kershaw going for us. Altuve, Lindor, Trout, Giambi, Martinez, Schwarber, Machado, and Harper. All right. So a lot of live series going at it in this game. Let's see how this goes, fellas. Jose Ramirez, first batter of the game. Come on. Don't catch it, left fielder. Let's go. Off the wall. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, boys. Uh-oh, boys. I think my opponent just got screwed on the first batter of the game. Oh, no. You hate to see it. And now that brings up Mike Trout with a 1-0 lead. Jose Ramirez starts the game with an inside-the-park home run. You just can't make this stuff up. Mike Trout down 0-1 in the count. Gonna try to get a home run. Try to get on the board real quick so we can get on the upgrades. Remember... Our goal is to try to get four upgrades at least in this game because we still need to upgrade those four spots. So that is the ultimate goal. Why the f am I swinging at that, bro? Come on now. 2-2 two, two to Trout. That is a curveball and Mike Trout with... <laughs> Dude, that you see how far that went? Freddie Freeman, bro, you cannot leave that fastball to Freddie Freeman. You can't do it, Chief. That ball was annihilated. How far did that go? Freddie Freeman just hit it 429. Just early swing. 110 miles an hour off the bat. And the lineup doesn't get any easier, my friend. This lineup is just disgusting. First batter of the game for him is Jose Altuve. Machado makes the play. The slide is not going to help you, brother. That's one down. 1-2 one, count to Lindor. Let's get him with the 12-6. Got him swinging. Sanchez up with it. Makes the throw. Kershaw is too dirty. Mike Trout is out the plate right now for him. I really hope that he doesn't do any damage because that would be ironic if Trout did some damage and Angel in the outfield. That's a great changeup. Let's see if I can get him with the 12-6 as well. Oh, you're gone. See you later, Mike Trout. Swing and a miss. Beautiful inning from Kershaw. 3-0 count to Jose Ramirez. Hands off. Not even going to attempt to swing. Ball four. There we go. Sets up Mike Trout with a guy on base and with Garrett Cole. Mike Trout didn't do very well in his first step at I'm going to take first pitch. Going to give me a fastball. Probably could have done some damage, but he threw four straight, so I'll take it. Oh, my God. The fastball and the slider combo. That set me up for failure right there. He keeps going to that knuckle curve against Trout, and it kind of, it's that's, the knuckle curve's kind of hard for me to hit. So, it's got like, like enough break to fool me, but it doesn't really look like a curve, you know what I mean? High and in, there we go, 2-2 two, two count, keep working it, Trout. Look for that curveball away if I need to. Oh my god, thank goodness we made contact on that, because that had strikeout written all over it. Come on, Mike. Come on, bud. That is a good curveball, that's also a really, really good fight swing right there, come on. Keep at it. No, didn't go. Didn't go. Please don't tell me I went. Oh, 3-2. Let's go. Oh, my God. We dodged a bullet right there. Come on. Get this walk or get on base. Do something, Trout. Mike Trout. Oh, my God. Got the fastball, but popped it up. Couldn't get it done. Freddie Freeman with a slider that was hanged over the plate. Hung over the plate. Not hanged. And we're not going to get that run in. It's okay. We're still up 2 nothing, and we're still pitching really well. J.D. Martinez. There we go. J.D. leading off the top of the fourth with a base hit through the shift, too. They had him played that way, and he still got it. Through the middle. Let's go, Aaron Judge. Nice job. I thought for a second that was going to be a double play, but it snuck through the middle. That's the first two guys on. And Manny Machado gets it down the line. 
on a low and inside changeup. Manny Machado gets the job done, drives in an RBI. Dude, Aaron Judge almost got back picked right there. That would have been terrible. Either way, though, we got another run. It is now 3-0. Oh, my God. I'm so antsy with Chapman. Gary Sanchez. Wow, I'm surprised that didn't go farther. Either way, though, this should get another run in. Mike Trout doesn't have that great of a throwing arm. We actually might be out at third. Oh, my God. He's off the bag. What are you doing? <laughs> Maybe the throw wasn't there. Either way, I'll take another run. Gary Sanchez with the sack fly. It's 4-0. Ground ball, okay, that was literally the worst defensive play I have ever seen in the show 18. I don't understand how Freddie Freeman could possibly miss that ball. Oh, you know why, guys? I understand why I didn't think he could miss the ball, because it, uh, you know, went through his glove. This ball literally just went through Freddie Freeman's glove. Uh, then I walked the second batter. All right, yo, what's going on with my uh, control right here? Come on now. Curveball to Giambi. Come on, get the out at second. 69 speed. We got this. Oh, he's going to score a run. He, uh, he's going to score a run. I should have just took the out at first. God dang it. That guy should have never been on base either. Aaron Judge, come on, get through there. Yes, let's go. We're going to be able to... Uh, I thought I was going to be able to... I'm going to go for it, dude. I'm going for a... Yeah, let's go. Woo. I was going for a single, extended to a double, and I got it. Let's go, Aaron Judge. Good way to start off the sixth. There we go. Matt Chapman to right field. Should I test J.D. Martinez's arm? That throw looks like it's offline, and Aaron Judge is going to get in there. Matt Chapman with the RBI makes it 5-1. to one. So, obviously, I haven't edited this video yet, but if you guys haven't really seen much from, uh, you know, Kershaw and his offense... That's just because not really much has happened. He got that one run off, like, you know, the bad animation and then, you know, going second to home on the ground ball. Um, but, like, nothing interesting has been going on. Kershaw has just been throwing an absolute gem. So, I mean, there hasn't really been that much to show you that's fully exciting. Here we go. Here's something. Aaron Judd's got to move the leg a little bit. There you go. That's what you pay for. Here is Mike Trout. <clears throat> He's 0 for 3 on the day. Has not gotten... A good swing yet. Okay, dude, I gotta hit that, man. I was late on 99. This is Jonathan Broxton, right? Got the fastball. I thought I got the good timing on it, but good lord, bro. I can't do anything with Trout today. He is 0 for 4. Not a good day for the Angel in the outfield. Well, guys, here we are in the top of the ninth. Like I said back in, I think it was the sixth inning. Literally just nothing has happened in this game. Um from the defensive side of things on my team. Like, Kershaw has pitched eight extremely good innings, and it's just like, you know, it's the same thing. It's just one, two, three inning, one, two, three inning, one, two, three. It's like, not really much to show there. So, uh, here we are in the top of the ninth, up five to one. We got Kershaw at the plate right now, trying to get a hit, not going to get on. Let's see if I can get Ramirez on to get one more at bat for Trout. And it's not going to happen. Pop up on the infield. All right. We're going to the bottom of the ninth. Let's see if Clayton Kershaw can close out this game. Oh, my goodness. Clayton Kershaw. You guys want to know something funny? He brought in Javier Baez to pinch it for a home run. You, like, the funny thing is, literally, this guy has one hit on the, uh, on the box score. I mean, well, now, too, after that home run. But the one hit before that was the uh, the ball that went through Freddie Freeman's glove. So technically, before that, you know, if the game didn't miss an animation and, you know, glitch, I'd be throwing a perfect game right now. But, or at least a no-hitter, because I did walk somebody, actually. So, uh, yeah. But now it's gone, because Baez hit the pinch hit dinger. So, oh well. Here we go. It's another... Fly ball. This one to Mike Trout. That is now two down. One out away from winning this game. And how fitting that the last... Okay, never mind. I was going to say the last out is going to be Mike Trout, but I literally made a yellow throw. Okay. There we go. Oh, my God, bro. He's got diamond fielding. What the hell is wrong with the infield today, dude? Come on. I swear to God, if he ties this right here, this is going to be the biggest load of cheese I have ever seen. Come on. Make the throw to second. Jesus Christ, that was a little bit sketchy there at the end, dude. My goodness. 
All right, boys, so we won the game. That is good. Mike Trout didn't have a very good game, and, you know, the corner infielders, Freeman and Chapman, kind of had some suspect plays right there. But either way, we won the game. That is good. Now, if we take a look at the upgrades, literally, I think we just got one. We won the game. That's it. Mike Trout went 0 for 4, but the hitless downgrade goes away because we won the game. Um, we didn't score the, the run amount. Mike Trout did nothing. That's it. One upgrade for winning. GG. All right, guys. So with the one upgrade, let me know what you want to upgrade. Obviously, the starting pitching is completed. Uh, in the lineup, the only spot we have to upgrade is the catcher. Gary Sanchez does have to be upgraded to a diamond. Um, of course, here's the bench, but we're not going to upgrade that. And then for the bullpen, uh, we need to upgrade three right-handed arms. We need to upgrade from Blake Trinan. We need to upgrade from Pat Neshek and from Roberto Osuna. So let me know if you guys want me to use the upgrade on the catcher or if you guys want me to get a relief pitcher right-handed arm. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this episode of Angel in the Outfield. Sorry we didn't get more upgrades today, but uh, I just wasn't really feeling it with Mike Trout. Didn't hit the ball too well overall. I mean, I did okay. Okay, but you know enough to win the game so that's good but either way guys drop a thumbs up on the video if you enjoyed it subscribe to the channel if you're new and uh yeah i'll see you guys in the next one peace